going to celebrate God on this day. Why? Because God has you in mind. You're not with me. God has you in mind. He loves you. Have anyone told you lately that God loves you? All right. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life, okay? Hey, uh, I want you to this weekend to check out with me. Our 10 o'clock service starts at 10 o'clock on my uh, YouTube channel. We want you to be a part of that worship experience, okay? Come walk with me and we're going to have a fantastic time, all right? God is concerned about you because he loves you. Let's keep our social distancing, okay? Let's continue that. Let's continue to wear our mask, okay? So that we can knock this COVID-19 virus out the park, all right? And let's be aware of our engagement, okay? The rules of engagement. Don't hang around everybody. That's the rules of engagement, young people, all right? And so that's the rules of engagement. We peruse it on into uh, the Genesis, the 13th chapter, the 14th chapter, and the 15th chapter, okay? And it's going to give us some insight to to some things about, about Adam. I mean, about, yeah, about Abraham, I mean. Not about Adam, but about Abraham. It's, we're going to peruse right into Abraham's business, all right? All right. All right. And so we're going to tiptoe into the scripture, into the 13th chapter, and we're going to see what God has for us. All right. And so the 13th chapter of Genesis talks about uh, Abraham and in in, in inheritance in Canaan. OK, how God uh, blessed him to inherit Canaan. OK. And then the 14th chapter, we're going to read that, too. It's talking about Lot being captive. OK. And his rescue. All right, Lot want to be big and bad. You know how he is. And he get himself captured in the 14th chapter of uh, Genesis. And we're going to see who rescued him. I don't want to tell you who did, but you'll find out who rescued him. Okay. And then the 15th uh, uh, chapter of Genesis talks about God's covenant with Abraham. I inform you that God is a covenant keeper. He keeps his covenant, okay? And so we want to continue to embrace Jesus Christ. He is the Savior of the world. He died. He was buried. He rose from the third day. And the only thing we have to do for everlasting life is, is, is to embrace him by faith. To embrace him by faith. He is the Savior, all right? Eternal life belongs to you if you embrace him by faith. Lord, come into my heart and save me. God bless you. We'll be talking soon, okay? Let's get through that 13, 14, 15 chapter. I holler at you. Love you. Talk to you in a minute. We thank God for you tuning in, okay? Subscribe to our channel, YouTube channel, Bishop M.L. Hall. Call your family, friends, and loved ones, okay? Comment, okay? Share. And my brothers and sisters, uh, invite. God bless you.